Greetings, everyone. Welcome to this highly anticipated webinar, The Ultimate Secret in Finding the Best Suppliers on Alibaba and Beyond. My name is Yuping Wang. I'm so honored and excited to be your host for this session. We all know that finding a reliable supplier is crucial to our business. And when we end up with a bad supplier, it can be so costly. But fear not. Today, you're going to have the exclusive access to my secret Alibaba strategy. During the webinar, I'm going to share tons of insider's tips. Make sure you take good notes. I promise you, by the end of the webinar, you're going to be equipped with the knowledge, tools, and confidence you need to navigate on Alibaba like a real pro and find the best suppliers for your business. So. If you're excited for this webinar, make sure you grab a pen and paper. I'm going to turn off my camera so you can have a distraction-free experience during the listening. And let's get ready to transform how you find suppliers on Alibaba and take your business to the next level. All right, let's make it official. The ultimate secret in finding the best suppliers on Alibaba and beyond starts right now with Yu Ping Wang. First, let's make sure this webinar is truly for you. Who is this for? This webinar is for Amazon FBA sellers who are struggling to find a reliable supplier to start their business. I know way too many people who are stuck at the product research phase. They couldn't launch the product because they couldn't find reliable suppliers. This is also for entrepreneurs who are looking to scale up their business. When you have a good business, when you grow and build and scale up, guess what? The more risk you take on with the suppliers. So you got to be very careful in choosing who you work with. And finally, this is for any importer, whether you're experienced or inexperienced, who doesn't want to fall victim to bad suppliers on Alibaba. If this sounds like you, you are at the right place. So let's take a look at today's agenda. We're going to spend the next 45 minutes together. There are five parts to this webinar. First, we're going to briefly discuss why most people struggle. If we don't know the cause, we cannot fix it. Second part. Is there a secret to finding good suppliers? Absolutely. That's why we're here. This is the part where you get to discover my secret Alibaba strategy. The third part, I'm going to take you on to Alibaba.com, do a live supplier research. This is the very important part where you learn how to apply the strategy and how to navigate the Alibaba platform. And then we're going to discuss after you find the suppliers, what's next? Is the supplier going to work with you or you will be ignored? No one can grow a business without a good supplier to back him up. So in the last part, I'm going to show you how you can revolutionize your sourcing game and take your business to a whole new level. This sounds good, right? Let's rock and roll. So what are the common reasons of people struggling in finding a good supplier? First reason I hear overwhelmed. With so many suppliers to choose from on Alibaba, it's difficult and time-consuming to sit through and find the best ones. What's the second common reason? Communication barriers. Language barriers make communication with supplier difficult, leading to misunderstandings and mistakes. This I could relate personally since I came to US, I didn't speak the language, so it was quite a challenging journey. The third common reason, any guess? False promises. They lied. <laughs> Some suppliers may present themselves as reliable, but in reality, they deliver poor quality products. All of these reasons make you struggle. The truth is, the bad supplier will make you fail your business. Let me ask you, are you secretly terrified to send your hard-earned money to a bad supplier? Of course, right? But what is the real problem? You want to hear it? The task of finding a good supplier is daunting. I'm at loss because I don't have neither the necessary knowledge nor the techniques. This is the root cause. You can go on to Alibaba 10 times, 100 times, maybe thousands of times. If you don't have the necessary knowledge nor the techniques, you will always struggle to find a reliable supplier. How about some good news? After this webinar, you're going to have a real tried and true strategy to efficiently evaluate thousands of Alibaba suppliers and quickly find the good ones. 
You're gonna have a boosted confidence with my exclusive insiders tips and best practices to navigate Alibaba like a real pro. And finally, you're gonna have access to a proven sourcing system to help protect your money, avoid costly mistakes, and take your business to the next level. Before I reveal my strategy to you, you might be asking, why should I listen to you? Who are you? Well, you can tell by my accent, I'm Chinese. But in the United States, I have worked for over 20 years specialized in sourcing. What I'm known for? I'm known as a great relationship builder and a tough negotiator. I'm also known as the founder of Sourcing Warrior, a brand dedicated to provide high quality sourcing courses to help entrepreneurs to succeed specifically to help entrepreneurs because the big corporations, they can make their mistakes and pay for it. And I'm also a sought after public speaker in sourcing and supplier topics. You might have heard about Just One Dime or AMZ Scott or some other people when they invite me to do a webinar or a live speaking session. I have done that. Why I'm telling you this? Is that to brag? Of course not. I just want to make sure you don't feel like you're wasting time listening to me. When I gave you the tips or strategy, those are tried and true and time tested by hundreds of the suppliers I have worked with. Now, are you ready to discover my secret Alibaba strategy? Here it is. I gave you the TLC strategy. What is it? Is that tender loving care? No, it's not. T stands for trustworthy. You get to find a supplier who you can trust and who's not going to steal your design. L stands for legit. This supplier got to be legit. You cannot deal with the scam artist. They got to have the building or the equipment they claim they own. C is competency. Is this supplier competent enough to deliver the high quality product you're asking for? We got to check, right? So how are you going to find the supplier who can meet this TLC standard? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what questions to ask during the live research session. But first, a word of warning. Please do not make these mistakes during the supplier research session. First one. Don't waste time analyzing price. Price listed on Alibaba is just an indication. Plus, price is a function of what? Function of quantity. If you buy 300 pieces, the price is going to be much different when you buy 10,000 pieces. Second mistake, don't take MOQ seriously. MOQ stands for minimum order quantity because everything is negotiable. Third is don't waste time clicking on product images. So many people wasting so much time click around. First thing they see is product image. Then they just start to click around. Then they get sucked into this massive supplier database and they never come out. The supplier could use the image as the clickbait for you to click. So you're not going to click. The last mistake, don't become Alibaba platform master because Alibaba will always move the features around. I want you to become a supplier research master. If you can avoid making these mistakes, we're gonna be very efficient when we're doing the live supplier research. If you're ready, let's go on to Alibaba. We're gonna do live supplier research, applying the TLC strategy. During the live supplier research session, I'm going to give you 20 essential tips to help you master the skill to find the best suppliers over and over again. The first tip coming up is to sort by suppliers. As you can see, my mouth is pointing at the categories. This is not what we're looking for. There used to be a drop down menu right here. You can sort by products or by suppliers. Obviously, they have moved the features. It's moved over here, products versus manufacturers. This proves my point earlier. You don't want to become the Alibaba platform master because they will always move the features around. It doesn't matter where they move the features. We will always begin by sorting by manufacturers or suppliers. I'm going to show you the two different search results. You will understand why. We're going to use the hard wax beans as an example because this is a $3 million keyword. One of my students built her business and sold her business for over $3 million. We're going to search by products. 
I will show you the different search results. Now over this browser, I'm going to search by manufacturers, hard wax being same keyword. Now let's look at the search result over here. You can see the hard wax bins, different kind of images of the product. We see very little information of the supplier. Exactly who made the product. We have no idea if you sort the suppliers through product, you're going to spend hours and hours of your time. No wonder so many people are so overwhelmed. Now, if you look at the search result by manufacturers, you will see the suppliers information here. We see their basic information, number of years, how many people, how many square footage and how much sales. This is what we need. Next, we need to verify if this supplier is legit. Remember the L. So we need to look for two things on Alibaba.com. One is trade assurance. Another is the verified supplier badge. This is easily done, but most people don't understand why. That's why we need to look at the pyramid on Alibaba.com. There are hundreds of thousands of suppliers. Many of them have a free account. These are general suppliers in order for the general suppliers to upgrade and become the gold suppliers. They have to pay for a fee now. For the gold suppliers to become verified supplier, they have to be inspected by the third party inspection company, such as SGS or TUV. Now, how does the trade assurance come into play? Can general suppliers offer trade assurance? No. Can gold suppliers offer trade assurance? Yes. Can verified suppliers offer trade assurance? Yes. So who is the most legit? Verified supplier plus the trade assurance. The gold supplier, after all, is not verified. This is why I want you to choose the verified supplier badge and the trade assurance badge. If you place a trade assurance order, the money is not going to the supplier's account is going into an escrow account owned by Alibaba. If you're not happy with the shipment you received after 30 days, you can dispute with Alibaba. Another thing I need to point out is if you are going to place the trade assurance order, make sure you record all your requirements, specifications and the terms and conditions about your order within the Alibaba messaging system with your supplier. Those will be treated as records or evidence when you dispute your trade assurance order. So what I recommend you to do is no matter what app you use to communicate with your supplier, whether it's WeChat, Skype or WhatsApp, after you're done negotiating, you record all your terms and conditions, specifications or requirement in Alibaba mes messaging system, because in the future, if you have to dispute your order, you will need those as evidence. By choosing the verified supplier with the trade assurance, it definitely give us the basic peace of mind. Most people will stop right here. They think they found a legit company. We are going to take a step further to make sure this supplier or this supplier, they are indeed legit. They actually do have the building or the equipment that they claim they do. I'm going to show you exactly how to check after we choose which supplier from this list that we're going to further evaluate. Most people think that the suppliers has minimum three years experience, maybe 40 or 50 people. That's good enough. You know, after I have dealt with the supplier for over 20 years, day in and day out, seeing the suppliers going into the business, then go out of the business. I realized the minimum years the supplier need to have is five. The minimum people they need to have is 100. This gave us the basic confidence that the supplier's business is mature and stable. I know some of you will ask, is this five year, hundred people rule a hard rule I must follow? Of course not. My friend, when you have this entire supply supplier list, take a look at what the market look like. If you have a many suppliers to choose from, why don't you choose the most stable and mature? suppliers to partner with. If you don't have a lot to choose from, 
Well, you adapt and adjust, make exceptions for those suppliers who has one year, two year experience, who have thirty people. Most likely, they're trading companies to begin with. So now, next, we're going to apply these two rules: five years and hundred people, and drop them into the favorite folder. If you're paying attention, you'll probably already see it. The first three suppliers' names seems to be the same. Why is that? The first position is a sponsored position, just like on Amazon, there is a sponsored position. Second one and the third one is the same company, but they have two different brand going on Alibaba. So what we're gonna do is just only choose one. No need to waste time evaluating the same factory, right? So the The this this company three year forty people a little bit too small for our taste, ah、uh, three year ninety people a little too young six years six hundred people, we're gonna take it one year eighty no too young three years hundred twenty people ah、uh, still a little bit too young we can come back to this supplier if our list of the suppliers with five year experience hundred people. It's just not good enough. We don't we don't find the good ones. We can come back at this supplier to the list. Six years, hundred people. Yes. Seven years, eighty people. A little bit too small. Eight years, ninety people. Not sure about that. Two years, six hundred people is a little too young. So between the number of years versus the number of people, which one is more important? Number of people, number of years on Alibaba only speaks to their experience selling on Alibaba. They may take the business offline, doing business directly with their customers. The number of people speaking more of the company's stability. If the company this size only have two years experience working on Alibaba, you want to make exception for this company. If you ever need to make an exception, so in this case, let's just give it a chance. You see the drill. Basically, going down the list, selecting the suppliers with five year experience, minimum hundred people into our favorite folder. The favorite folder is inside of your Alibaba account. If you don't have an account, I suggest you register and create an account because this favorite folder is going to make the supplier evaluation so much more efficient. Click on the favorite folder. You can see there's no no nothing in there, but not true because we sort by supplier. If you click on the supplier tab, you will see there are 15 suppliers that we just added into our list. Next, I want you to do a quick location scan. The supplier's location is extremely important to our business for two reasons. Number one, if the supplier happened to be located in a region where there are many other suppliers, most likely the quality coming out of this region is much higher than the quality coming from the supplier who happened to be located in the middle of nowhere. You get my point, right? Second is if you can find a supplier who happened to be in a region where there are other suppliers doing the similar stuff, it's easier for you to expand and grow your business. You can find accessories easier. You can find find bundled items easier, and most importantly, you can consolidate all different suppliers' stuff into one shipment and save a lot of. Shipping cost. Now you might be wondering, how can I quickly find out my supplier location? This all look very confusing to me. It's not confusing at all, my friend. It's actually very simple. Let me show you. All Chinese suppliers name have four elements. First one, city, city name. Second one, company name. Third one, their product specialty, and the last one is LTD. They follow the exact. Template, so it is very easy to scan your supplier location just by looking at the first city name. We're gonna use this compare function, so I can show you where our suppliers located. First four showing up here is all Guangzhou, 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 Guangzhou. <laughs> Simple, right? And then the second is the company name, Yukma, Yilong. Who cares? Who care about that company name? We just want to find out where most of our suppliers are located, so then we can deal with the outliers. If they're not in that concentrated area, then we have to have a second thought in terms of whether we wanted to do business with them, right? Let's go on to take a one more look. This is another supplier in Guangzhou, and this the supplier is 
in a different city, which we have no idea. You probably couldn't even pronounce. So what I ask you to do is to have a Google map and type in or copy the supplier's city name and to find out how far this supplier is going to be from Guangzhou. So then you know the distance. So this supplier is in Shijiazhuang in Hebei area is right here. And then Guangzhou is right here near Hong Kong, as you can see here. So how far is this supplier to this Guangzhou area? By car is 20 hours. So that gave you a little chill, right? They're not near the coast and they are on Alibaba doing business. They're not near most of the suppliers selling hard wax beans, but they probably have a good factory in there. Would you do business? Well, it's not a clean cut of yes or no answer, but at the beginning, I would rather you stay close to the coast and stay close to where most suppliers are to start your business, to find accessories, to find items you can bundle. Now let's get back to our favorite supplier list. We're going to start from the bottom because the bottom supplier ranked the first when we are searching the suppliers, right? From this point on, we're going to take a very focused approach to drill each supplier's profile. When you open up the supplier's page, they all have a different displays. Just ignore all these distractions, go straight to the profile. You will see a drop down menu and click on company overview. This is where you want it to be. Once you're on company overview, I want you to pay attention to two most expensive pieces of asset any given factory can claim to own. One is the company building. A company who owns a piece of a physical asset such as the building is a lot more dependable than the one who only owns um, a reception desk, right? There are many suppliers on Alibaba. They will show you a fancy reception desk. For example, this one. This supplier is from our verified supplier list, three years, 50 people. For those who don't know how to sort the best suppliers, then you will end up with this kind of suppliers. In addition to the building, the second piece of asset we're looking for is the equipment list. If you look at any company's overview, by looking at the production area, you can have a basic idea, a visual basically of what equipment they're using in producing the parts. But if you really want to find out exactly what equipment this factory owns, you need to download this report provided by SGS Group. Many people don't even care to read this report. If you really want to master the skill to find the best suppliers on Alibaba, this report is your friend. Learn to read the report and spend time to understand exactly what this supplier has. Let me tell you a trick. This report has 21 pages. It's going to take a while for us to read through it. So the trick is Control F on the keyboard and type in the equipment. It will show you how many places you can find the mentioning of the equipment. There are total eight mentionings. Right now we're on the position number one. We're going to continue to click just this down arrow to find more mentioning about the equipment. What we're looking for is the equipment quantity. In this section, it's very interesting. They mention about what kind of uh, R&D equipment the employees are using. This is very interesting. It's good to know. Then we're going to continue to go down the list. And now we see the equipment number. You see how fast is, is, it is? Instead of reading through the 21 pages, trying to find what equipment does the supplier own, this is the trick. It's going to save you a lot of time. And this equipment list, 80 pieces, is a very good number. A factory who has the building, has this many equipment, is a good factory. Since we're on the report, I want you to look for another very important piece of information that is related to their uh, number of employees and how the employees is being structured. Same trick. We're going to type in employees. So right here, you can see the distribution of the team. They claim to have over 100 people, right? Exactly how many people spend in production? 78. This is a good sign. How many people in QC? Four. 
How many people in R and D? Five. This is a good company. If we compare the other supplier's report, same drill, type in the employee and get to the employee distribution session. As you can see, this supplier has total 37 people. 11 people focus on sales. I have seen suppliers has 50 people, 30 people focus on sales. Nobody else is doing the QC. You see no QC in this company. The more inspection they do on site, the higher quality product you get, the less uh, defects or inspection cost you have to spend to inspect their product. Now back to the good supplier we previously found. We want to take a look at their product collection. Ideally, when we look at any given supplier's product collection, we want to see specialization. We want to know that they are good at what they do. If they're specialized in producing the parts we need, their quality is more likely to be more consistent because their workers are trained to do the same product day in and day out. However, I do want you to see both of their product breadth and depth. Now you might be confused. What exactly does it mean product breadth and depth? Well, I don't want to lose you on this because this is very important for you to build and grow your business with this supplier. Product depth means that the supplier can have different variations of the product within the same category. If you're looking for hard wax beans, this supplier can give you all kinds of different hard wax beans, different melting temperatures, different scent. You know, you're in the hard wax bean heaven if you visit them. The product breadth means not only this supplier can provide you with the hard wax beans, they can also provide you different products across different product categories. Perhaps is a uh, hard wax bean heater to melt the beans. Perhaps it's the strips or rolls. When you find a supplier who has both the product breadth and depth, guess what? You can tap into their R&D, add their new offerings to your product collection, build and grow your business with this supplier. Literally, this supplier becomes your new product development team. Let's take a look at two more suppliers so you truly understand how to look at the supplier's collection and determine if this supplier is a good match for you. If you look at this supplier, we can see their product categories. What do you see? It's very easy, right? It's a bunch of nails. Do they have the depth within the nail category? Absolutely. Do they have the breadth across nail categories? No. I don't see any hard wax beans. They basically use the picture as the clickbait for us to see this supplier's profile. What about this supplier? Let's take a look. What do you see? You see face patches, cosmetic product. Do they have the depth within the cosmetic product? Yes, they have beauty equipment. They have a heat pack series, face mask series, all kinds of mask series. But do they have any hard wax beans? No. So we're not going to send our RFQ request to these two suppliers because they're really not specialized in the hard wax beans, but we're not going to delete them. We're just going to make sure that this good supplier is being added to a cool group. Let me show you. This is very cool. Up on top, there is create a new group. I can create RFQ sent group, RFQ sent group. This is the group that I want to keep track of all the good suppliers that I want to send the RFQ. By the way, if you have different products going, then you can name this group as hard wax beans, right? Let's just say hard wax beans group. And then the other one maybe is uh, Walmart bike rack group, right? Confirm this is the group is created. Now we're going to go down to our good supplier and move it to this hard wax RFQ scent group. You see here the drop down menu, click here. If you go on top, you will see in our group, we have 14 suppliers left. And in this hard wax RFQ scent group, there's one. There's something else I need to show you because it's kind of tricky for inexperienced buyers. This can be a little bit deceiving. Let's take a look at this supplier's profile. Shizhuang Guangquan Biological Technology Company. What is the drill? Take a look at their profile, company overview, look at their most expensive asset, their buildings, 
right? And then we look at the production area to see to get a visual of the equipment they have, and then we verify their employee structure and the equipment list, the second expensive piece of asset within the factory, right? Then we click on download. This is the tricky part. Why there are two reports for one company? Whenever you see two reports, you need to pay attention and identify who's on the front, who's behind. Let's download the report and take a look. Report one, report two. Let's take a look who is being verified on the report one. Shi Jiazhuang Guangquan Biology Company. This is the company matching the same name advertised on Alibaba. We found them here, right? Then we take a look at their employee structure. Same drill. Type in employee. It will lead you to the section where they have the employee structure. One GM, one assistant manager, one person keeping track of money, <laughs> finance department, and there's 18 people in sales. This is an obvious marketing or sales or trading company on front who they're representing then. Let's take a look at the report too. The report too is verifying a completely different company, Hebei Houde Hangfang Medical Device Company. Look at their employees. This company has one GM, two assistant manager, and 420 people in production area. This is obviously a true, real manufacturer behind this trading company. The reason I'm showing you this is whenever you see two reports, you must understand who you are dealing with. If you have the opportunity to work with this factory directly, would you? Absolutely, yes, right? Because someone has to make money. So if you look at our favorite supplier list, guess what? Same company that this company is representing is doing business directly with the buyers. So what do we do? We add them to our hard wax RFQ sent list. Now we can go to the hard wax folder and send the quote request to these suppliers. When you click on contact the supplier, you're going to get to this page. If you have five suppliers selected, it's going to show all five suppliers. All five suppliers are going to get your RFQ request on the same day. See how efficient it is? Now, I want to share you a trick. Please uncheck the mark here. Agree to share business card with supplier. It's not that you don't want to share the business information with them. It's just that your inbox is going to be jammed with other suppliers' inquiries that you have no idea who they are. Now we're going to send the RFQ message. Dear supplier, could you give me... Stop. My friend, you are about to make the most expensive mistake in your business. The message you are about to send is going to determine if the supplier is going to ignore you or reply to you. Is the supplier going to choose you? This is it. You are about to send your RFQ to the suppliers. Are you going to get a reply? Are you going to get a good quote? So many people's RFQ get ignored. Why? Because Good suppliers can be picky. This is the reality. You go on to Alibaba maybe every three months, six months to find a supplier. They spend their every day looking at the RFQs. If your RFQ doesn't stand out from the pile of the RFQs, well, you shouldn't expect their quick reply with a good price to you. You should also expect they might test you. They may ask these kind of questions. Do you have a website? Can I take a look at what, what product you're selling? Or they don't give you a quote. They ask you, what's your target price? If you don't know how to answer these questions, my friend, perhaps you're not quite ready to send your RFQ yet. Most of you who are listening are small business owners, either one person or two people. Your job is to learn to package you and your business in that RFQ. Leave a good impression. Make it look big, legit, and professional to get the attention. Otherwise, your RFQ will be ignored. You see the challenge here, right? Is there an easy solution? Absolutely. I'm going to show you how easy it is to fix it. But first, 
We need to finish what we started. Our secret Alibaba strategy is still missing a piece. We did check if the supplier is legit. If they're a verified supplier, who's being verified? Do they have the factory or the equipment list? We did check if the supplier is competent through their location, through their QC headcount, through their product breadth and depth. But did we check if the supplier is trustworthy? We didn't, but now is the time. Is this supplier trustworthy? Most e-commerce sellers sell either on Amazon as a private label seller or on Shopify with your uniquely designed product like this seller. He spent months designing this product, put a lot of investment into the mode, design and sell this ergonomic yoga block. Comparing to the traditional yoga block, you can see it's more wrist friendly. It will be heartbroken for this seller if the supplier steal this design and start to sell this product directly online or sell to his competitors, right? If you're in this position, you really want it to protect your design. So what can you do to best protect your IP? IP includes your design, includes your logo, includes your unique branding materials and name. What can you do to protect it? The only way, my friend, is to sign the NNN agreement, non-disclosure, non-compete, non-circumvention agreement. You may not think it's a big deal right now, but after you invest thousands of dollars in developing this product, and then you see this product start to sell for the first 10,000 and then 100,000 and then a million dollars, you will be very worried if you have no protection in place with the factory. In the case whether the supplier is trustworthy, don't leave it to the supplier. It is your job to put this agreement in place and protect your business from the very beginning. Where do you get this agreement? Let me show you. I'll take you to a happy place. This is Sourcing Warriors Mastermind course. This is the happy place because many entrepreneurs found their happy solutions here. I'm going to first give you a peek on where you're going to find the answers you're looking for, such as the RFQ template, such as the N -N -N agreement. Then I'm going to make you an offer. I promise you it's going to be a super good, affordable offer. It's a irresistibly good. Now let's take a look at the N -N -N agreement. If you click the download here, you're going to have an the agreement pre-drafted in both English and Chinese. Lucky you, I was attorney in Beijing before. So all you have to do is to fill in your company name and have your supplier fill in their company name in both English and Chinese, sign, stem, and done. Let's take a look at the RFQ templates you're looking for. There are a couple templates in the course. You can use this light version to get a quick idea if the new product is going to fall into the price range you're looking for. And then there's a pro version for those of you who know exactly what you want your supplier to quote. In that case, just use the pro message template along with this RFQ form. Have the supplier fill in as much information as possible, including the INCO term, weight and dimensions, and different quantity price break. Everything is done for you. I told you it's very easy. And the negotiation module, we haven't even talked about this. There's so much information here, so many strategy here. Just this module alone is going to pay back your investment because there's so many people losing money and leave profits on the table. And then there are this language barrier people are struggling, right? Don't worry. All your purchase orders for your product and for your tooling, they're all made in both English and Chinese. All the terms and conditions are in English and Chinese. So there's no confusion. All you have to do is to attach this purchase order in your trade assurance transaction. This is the exciting part. Are you ready to hear my offer? No, the better question is, are you ready to take your business to a whole new level with better suppliers with more profits? Now, allow me to properly introduce the Sourcing Warrior Mastermind to you. You had a peek of what's inside, but you got to know this is the number one sourcing course out there. Many people have built a multi-million dollar business with this course. With this course, you get to unlock all the secrets I have so you can maximize your profits. You get to simplify your sourcing process with my easy step-by-step -step system. You have saw the steps. You saw how easy it is. It's all done for you. And of course, you get to 
cut costs and minimize your risk of losing money to the bad suppliers. The bottom line is you want to launch your product as soon as possible and make as much money as possible. You got to be smart enough to know where you can save time. I have been doing the sourcing work for over 20 years. You got to take advantage of my experience instead of struggle on your own. How much this course works for you? The regular price is 1997 is it worth it? Absolutely. This course has been sold for 1997 for a long time. But did I promise you a good irresistible offer? I did. I must honor my promise. But first, let me show you the exciting bonuses that I'm giving to you today. First, I'm going to give you the negotiation masterclass. I know all of you want it. One tip in the negotiation masterclass is going to pay back your entire investment today. Bonus number two, the quote master. This is your weapon to get the best price on day one so you can relieve the pressure to keep negotiating on the high price point. Bonus number three, the elite Facebook group. This is where you get my personal mentorship. People consult with me. They pay $250. You get all my advice free in this group. This group has been priceless for many people. All together, all these bonus worth $1,194, all free to you. Now, are you ready to hear my special offer? Here it is. You get the Sourcing Warrior Mastermind and all the bonuses, total value $3,191. You only need to pay $897. Is this a good offer or not? I'm hearing yes and yes. But here is the situation. I grew up in a very poor place in China, very cold place, not much food, walking to school. I had a dream. I wanted to come to the United States and I'm here. It is so humbling to be able to help others who have a dream. I don't know about your situation, but I know you're in my webinar learning to grow, to make a better life. So today I'm going to make an exception today only. I'm going to give you this entire package for 497. My friend, in the next three to six months, you're going to spend thousands of dollars buying product from the Alibaba suppliers. The investment of this course, $497 is going to pay itself. This has been the best investment for many people. Just take a quick listen from Nina Daniel. Yuping is the ultimate expert about sourcing from China suppliers. You cannot go wrong with her guidance. This is from Israel. Yuping is the best out there. She's patient, thorough, and engaging. Thank you. She makes this very hard topic easy to understand. Love the course. Five stars. This is just the three quick examples. There's a whole wall of testimonials from different walk of life. All love and praise and recommend this course. Now, all is left for you to do, my friend, is to enroll. Remember, this price, $497, is only offered through this webinar and it's today only to save $400. I want you to give yourself the gift of skill and knowledge. Your business depends on it. Your future self will thank you for the decision you make today because there's so much good things to look forward to and there's so much good things that's going to happen to you once you have the skill set to run the business. Thank you all for attending this webinar. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This is an amazing course. I truly believe and stand behind the Sourcing Warrior Mastermind course. Therefore, you have 30 day money back guarantee. All you have to do now is to take advantage of this amazing one day offer in row now, and I'll see you inside of the course.